I just passed there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, late on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your parents when you were young, how you don't even remember how why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. Huh? Hey, come back! Someone's in there.
coming with me. Safe now. Hey, someone help her. Where is everyone? Taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. You a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye.
You're the girl from the fire. How did you... I'm seeing things. This ain't right. What is this? You. What was that thing? 
This isn't happening. Are you okay? Sorry, did I startle you? My name is Lisa. I'm a trainee here. Are you waiting for someone? No. No, I'm just... Well... I'm done here. Name's Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been a little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? She died? Yes. Sorry, did you know her? No. But... Never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and he'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa.
You were at the fire. I saw you there. Of course you did. That was my house, burning. My daughter, Alessa. You were the one who saved her. Yeah. She was your daughter? Why did you leave her? Why did no one help? You all left that girl to burn. So we did. The world is stranger than you think. You're crazy. What happened to her? Lisa said she was dead. Alessa is with those who care for her. Do not trust her, Travis. She does not know what she is doing. How do you know my name? Hey, answer me! They're all crazy. Oh God, Helen! My dear, dear Helen! You really are dead! What will I do? Let me understand. That's what you do with pests. That's what you do, isn't it? And he was a pest. Oh, he was a bad boy. Always has been. I tried to pretend he wasn't, but they were there to make sure I didn't forget. They? The people in the mirrors. They see it all. What's really going on. And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility. My flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Good wombs can bear bad sons, they say. 
I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen... No! You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? Lisa? You're here too? Can you see all this stuff? Is it all dark for you too? I... It's so sad. They can't do anything for her. She just sits there. She wants her boy so badly. Who are you talking about? Is the girl inside? Alessa? Is Alessa in there? No. No! You know who's in there! Mama? Daddy said you were dead. Are you dead? I'm not dead. Locked away. Out of sight, out of mind, not dead. I asked them to bring my boy to me. Mama. Come here, boy. Let Mama take a look at you. What's happening here? That thing, it couldn't have been. Are you making this happen? Are you doing this? Wait. No. Don't go. I need to know.
you doing in here, Lisa? Sorry if I scared you. I thought I was the only one in here. It's dangerous. Dangerous? You're kidding. The door was open, so I let myself in. I just love the theater, Travis. I want to be an actress. But mom was a nurse and her mom was a nurse, so I'm going to be a nurse. I've got what it takes, though. I can't stop thinking about you, Travis. I want you. You're all I think about. Let's get the hell out of this crazy town. Run off. The two of us. We could be so good together. <laughs> See? I could be a star! <laughs> yeah. Well, see you around. not on my garments. Sir, have pity. I'll be his shorty. Silence. One word more shall make me chide thee, if not hate thee. What? <laughs> an advocate for an impossible... <laughs> Hush. <laughs> How thick is there is no more such... You okay, Tony? Yes. Yes. Fine. Just a headache. A damned nose bleed. You mind if we stop for a moment? You need these, don't you? Riverside Motel. I think I've been there before. Uh -oh. 
for me, haven't you? <laughs> Greetings, Travis. You see my truck? I have to find my truck. <laughs> Your truck is on our planet. Come with us. Can I drive? You drive stick? In his eyes, I see you. It's not enough. I can't be there for him. There's too much pain in this world without you. That thing that stole your body. It had the right idea.
Some money for the pinball? Yes. About this afternoon. It's okay. I just want to play the pinball. Sure. There. I'm going back to the room for a little while. Wait for me here. You have a habit of popping up where you're not wanted, Mr. Grady. Isn't it time you left town? I can't. Try harder.
fatty. Daddy, I won the game. I still got a quarter left. You want the quarter? Daddy, wake up. Please, Daddy. I'm not sleeping, son. Daddy. You knew I wasn't sleeping. Why did you stand there for so long? It wasn't right. Please, Daddy. It wasn't healthy, son. Daddy. This is insane. Time you faced up to what happened. Your mother and I will see you in heaven, son. Why won't you let me forget? Why are you doing this to me? Come out! Come out! I've got your... your thing for you! Happy? You've dug up my parents, what now? When do we get to look inside your sick little mind? This isn't right. This is the last one.
wait! the spell. Now, she is free. I just want to end this. I thought that's what she wanted too. I want out. Can you help me? You want out? Ha <laughs> ha! Far too late for that. Even with your misguided help, she can't stop us now. The ceremony begins soon. Finally, she will birth God! Here she comes. Look upon what you have wrought! She's really worked you over, hasn't she? I'm surprised to see you. We had assumed you'd just leave. Well, time to put her pawn to sleep. Good night. She's here! We 
need to begin this now! Don't worry, Dahlia. With him out of the way, she has no conduit for her power. Mama? Mama? What is it? Don't touch. Oh, it's hot! Leave it be. It is a cage for a demon. Contained? His power will focus yours. Release him, and we will all burn in the fires of hell! The seed lies dormant. The other half is not lost. We'll use a summoning spell. Hearing her pain, it is sure to come. It will take time. We can wait.